you too what it do man it is your <laughs> boy abdullah up next and i'm back with another video yes Sarsky, man, what it do, y'all? It's your boy Dully. And if you click the title of this video, we are doing the black test. You feel me? I am already super black. So I know I'm gonna be passing this test. But for you, look, we ain't giving out no N-word pass or nothing like that. But you might get a little cookout invite. You yes, know what I said? Yes, I might invite yes, you to the cookout. Yes, you feel me? So we're gonna take this test. Now, if I fail this test, I, I got six different personalities. I speak a few different languages. I still get real black real fast, you know what I'm saying? And to the people out there that might be earning them a little cookout invite for the first time, I'll tell you why you can't get the pass. Because you gotta prove yourself at the cookout first before you get the actual pass to say the word. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be on the cookout dance floor. You know when you gotta cook out with your family and your uncle on the dance floor, drunk uncle talking and shit? Look, you gotta be dancing with him first then you might get the n-word pass we're gonna start this test i know i'm black i'll tell you why i know i'm black i know i'm black because when i used to be in school and the lights used to go out the first thing they used to say was where's abdul where's abdul and i used to have to just sit there and take that roast in seventh grade my teacher tried to call me a shadow nigga that shit hurt my feelings when my teacher called me a shadow i did not let that slide i reported her ass i am not gonna cap that bitch like in her 30s and she just really roasted a 13 year old. I was like, what the fuck? When she called me the shadow, I was like, ain't no way she's being for real right now. Like, you think I'm really about to let that slide? I didn't roast her ass back. I didn't roast her back because I she was a girl. You know teachers, how weird they how weird they get. If I would have roasted her back, I would have been sitting in the office. I would have got kicked out the damn school, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm super black. I get that and we're past. When we used to be looking at shit about slavery on school, they used to be like, yo, Abdul, that's your cousin. I had to take that shit. And I took it like a man. Like a man. Start the test though. Three, two, one one let's start the test you see we got the little black test right now we're gonna see what percentage of black i am because i may be like 100 percent black on the outside but who knows on the inside i might just be a little bit of asian you know what i'm saying i might be a little japanese i know i'm a little japanese you know what i'm saying what do you call your mom's best friend auntie miss whatever her last name is by her first name look as a black person myself you can't call no elder by their first name i have never done that before I had I have a cousin who calls his mom by her first name. I was like, oh nah, you fucking lucky. I called my mom by her first name. She reached across oh. and slapping the life out of me. Um my mom's best friend? Nah, bro. We call my mom's best friend auntie, you know what I'm saying? So definitely auntie. If you call in anybody by their first name and an elder, you're white. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, you're not even white, because I know some white people don't even do that. I'm just gonna say it like you you some level of bougie like you high class you luxury I damn definitely auntie shout out to all them aunties out there that are not actually my blood auntie that my mom introduced me to every time there's a family event she be, every time there's a family event my mom would introduce me to somebody and be like this is your auntie I ain't never seen her before though who the hell is that nigga I could I have never seen her in my life she talked about she held me as a baby who the fuck is you? How do you know it's a clean the house day? There is no clean the house day. You wake up to that neo soul of gospel and smell the bleach. You have a cleaning lady. Fun fact in Senegal, cause that's where my family's from. That's where I'm from, Senegal, Africa. We have a cleaning lady. Look, 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 look. Y'all would have thought Senegal had, oh, oh, you're broke, it's Africa. No, we got cleaning ladies. Y'all niggas cleaning yourselves. So if anything, us Africans are winning. But and then it says, wake up to the neo soul of gospel. Now, when I was a little kid, I could wake up, I might hear some Michael Jackson. Like, I remember the day Michael Jackson died like it was yesterday, because my mom had that shit on the TV while she was cleaning. But there is no clean the house day? Boy, what the fuck? Is you out your mind? Nowadays, I turn on a whole lot of red and I get straight to cleaning. But no clean the house day? If you don't clean at all, you just lucky. I'm jealous of you. I'm sure everybody watching this clean. I wouldn't say it's neo soul and gospel because my mom liked to play the African tunes, but I'ma play, I'ma click that. Which song is playing multiple times at the cookout? I I called it Michael Jackson. That's my twin. I knew it was on this list. I knew it. I wanna rock with you all night. Dance to the oh fuck uh, oh. So Michael Jackson, one of my favorite artists to this day. Like, I still get in the shower and listen to Rock With You and do my moonwalk. If you go to a buffet with your mom, how old do you tell them that you are? This is a good question. I want y'all to answer first. 
The truth is, you never say your real age, nigga. You 18, when you walk into that buffet, you are 12. Yeah. Better better get it together. Better start acting. You know what I'm saying? My little brother, he's short. He's like five. My little brother, like five, three, five, four, and he's about to be 18 in August. That nigga be saying he's 12. When he go to the barber shop, he's 12. You know what I'm saying? You always got to lie. 12 or younger, bro. That's how you get in for cheap. Which of these unwritten black laws apply to you the most? Don't cut my name out the cake. I don't remember that one. Say a word twice to emphasize the meaning. If everyone else starts running, I'm running too. Now that's a fact. If everyone starts running, I don't care where I'm going. If I'm walking to school, if I see the people behind me running, you don't walk, nigga. You might get your ass hit in the ass, nigga. You might get bit in the ass. When I was at school, I'll never forget. I'll never forget, bro. It was third grade. We was, we was in a line outside and a dog came. I seen two niggas ran. I didn't even see the dog. I ran behind them, bro. I swear I did not see the dog till later that day. Some A dog came running. We was outside of the school in line about to walk in after recess. I just ran back. No, we was going to recess. We was going to recess. I ran inside the whole recess, nigga. I did not see the dog. It was actually a three-legged dog, too. That, that fucking handicapped motherfucker scared me out my recess. Next time I see that nigga, I might have to unplay it. You know I ain't gonna punt kick his ass, even though I kind of want to punt kick his ass. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, you gotta go. No snitching? Man, fuck that no snitching shit. Yo, I'm black as it gets. I don't know. Who, who raised y'all to say no snitching? Nigga, if I'm gonna, I'm ratting. If I'm 6'9", I'm ratting. Nigga, if you think I'm sitting in jail for your ass, you nigga, you really think I'm sitting in jail for you, bro? Whatever your mom people in hell want ice. Definitely, if everyone else running, I'm running too. You got barely black. What the fuck? You're only black when it's convenient, so sometimes you have to check yourself. You may claim the black pride, but you like your queens. Only when they're Egyptian, not Nubian. I'm barely black. Dick sucking? What the fuck? So y'all niggas trying to say I'm out here giving N-word passes, but I barely got one my damn self? What? Barely black. But they must not see my skin. What you mean barely black? I pass. I got the... Fuck? Fuck this test then, bro. I don't give a fuck. One hour later. Alright, I can't believe they really tried to play me on my N-word pass like that. That's crazy, y'all. Y'all tell me right now, who's taking my N-word pass for me? Who gonna stop me from saying a word? If I want to say the word, bro, I'm gonna drop that shit. Fuck you mean, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what is you talking about? Who can't say the word? Nigga. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the video, y'all. I got, I still got my N-word pass. From the looks of it, since I'm barely black, I probably can't give y'all the pass no more. Let me catch y'all in the next video. Yeah, shout out